What's up, Peter Jeff? Baka magulat ka sa card na rin-review natin today. It's the RX 580. Lumabas ng card na to in 2017. Wala pa yung hardware sugar nung linabas tong card na to. And why are we talking about this card in 2022? Dahil lang ba pinadala ng sponsor ng video na to and we have to hype it up. Yes, but also no. Actually, known quantity na tong RX 580 na sobrang okay na performer for 1080p gaming. Sobrang swak for a budget build. Now in late 2022 and early 2023. It's a good price. You get bang for your buck. Most modern games, even the demanding ones, magandang performance in 1080p. And as a cherry on top, it has 5 ports that you can plug your monitors into. 3 display ports, 1 HDMI, and 1 DVI. Kahit yung more advanced cards, walang gunun kadami na ports. So it's a very versatile card for work, if you have multiple monitors, as well as for gaming. Lahat ng mga usual suspects mo for gaming, Dota 2, Valorant, League of Legends, NBA 2K, all of those will perform very well with an RX 580. Plus, isang 8-pin power connector lang kailangan. You don't need to worry too much about the power consumption. All of that being said, yun nga, alam mo na tong RX 580. I won't go too much into detail kasi madaling hanapin yun. It's been around for so long. The card speaks for itself. Yung di natin alam, is yung manufacturer, yung brand. Sino ba tong Asurix na to? Maasahan mo ba yung mga products nila? And dito tayo tututok. Ibubugbog natin tong card na to. It's hard to determine, to be fair, just in a couple of days, gano pa kaganda yung quality nitong card. Kung tatagal ba siya. But we're gonna do our hardest to stress it out to see kung okay ba siya. So this is not really a review of the RX 580, which you've seen tons of reviews of already but more a review of the Asurix RX 580. Masahan mo ba siya? Let's start with some performance numbers. On League of Legends 1080p max settings, the max temperature we recorded was 62 degrees. For FPS, the minimum we saw was 89 frames per second with a max FPS of 239, averaging out to 158 FPS. For a more demanding game like Monster Hunter World 1080p max settings, max temp reached was 66 degrees, Minimum FPS was 29, max FPS was 58 with an average of 49 frames per second. And for an even more demanding game, Shadow of the Tomb Raider 1080p max settings, max temp reached was 66 degrees, minimum FPS was 40, max of 82, and for an average of 52 frames per second. Not surprising that the card can hold its own in LOL, but to be honest, I was also impressed with the numbers it posted in the two other games. Not bad at all. One of these numbers can also indirectly suggest if this is a quality card, and that's the thermals. We didn't see it go beyond 66 degrees in any of our tests, which is a good sign of quality. That's a very decent temp for gaming. It also suggests that there might be some overclock headroom on this thing. We might check that out when we have more time to tinker with it. In the time we've had it, we've tried stress testing the card to see if we could break it and we haven't been able to so far. Another good sign that this is not a shoddy card. Pero kung maalas lang talaga at may problema sa Isurix card mo, ano yung warranty policy nila? I specifically asked our contact person and their stated policies are in line with what you would expect. Una, you have a 7-day window to return or replace the card. No reason kuno needs to be given within these 7 days. Change of mind, ayaw mo lang siya, whatever reason, pwede mo daw ibalik. Then you have a 1-year warranty. In case there is a problem with the card during this time, a new replacement will be issued, not just a repair of the defective card. Lastly, there is a 2-year period where you can consult with Asurix regarding any technical concerns you have with the card. So kung nagka problema after 1 year, Hindi na papalitan, pero hindi ka rin iiwan sa ere. So to sum it up, this is an ideal choice for a budget card. Hindi pa ganun kasikat yung brand, but the quality and performance both seem to be there. Plus, it being less well-known really helps the price too. Available to locally for slightly more than 4,500 pesos, punta ka lang sa Shopee page nila, link in the description below if you're interested.